After months of investigating the misuse of city funds by the former executive director of Bemidji Sanford Events Center, the Minnesota State Auditor's Office has released the results of its audit. Uh, Josh Peterson shows us how the city of Bemidji will use this information and move forward. Many months have passed since the Minnesota State Auditor's Office received a report from the city of Bemidji regarding the misuse of city funds by former Venue Works and Sanford Center Executive Director Curtis Webb. The audit looked at non-business related purchases during the period of January 1st, 2013 to December 31st of 2016. We're reviewing and reconciling what Venue Works reported to us when we discovered this fraud mm -hmm. and also what the state auditor has concluded. Compared to the internal review done by the Sanford Center's management company Venue Works, where nearly $165,000 was found misused, the state auditor's numbers are less, meaning the city of Bemidji will need to go back and compare notes. When it comes down to the state auditor's report, like I said, we got to try to reconcile their conclusions with what Venue Works concluded was, was uh, defrauded. This 33-page audit goes into great detail about the financial improprieties committed by the former Sanford Center Executive Director. It also goes on to make recommendations to the City of Bemidji so that this never happens again. How we move forward with this because we still have this relationship with how we are expending mm -hmm. a city, a city funds through this enterprise. Another question that still faces the city of Bemidji is when and if charges will be brought against Curtis Webb. This individual is caught and I'm confident that as the investigation proceeds criminally that uh, justice will be brought forth uh, against Mr. Webb. Despite the ongoing investigation, the city of Bemidji recently renewed its contract with Venue Works and says you can't hold an entire company responsible for one employee's actions. The actions of one individual that did this, um, not the inherent culture of a, a company. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. If you'd like to view the entire audit, we've posted a link on our website at lptv.org news. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.